Thanks, everybody. So I'm, I'm T.W. Hawk. Maybe you remember me from uh, a few weeks ago. But uh, I'm a spiritual entrepreneur and an author and a filmmaker. And I'm here to talk to you tonight about upward spirals. And what I want you to step away with is the shape of the universe and then our role in that shape. So upward spirals, the shape of the universe, our role in it. And I'm going to tell a personal story about my love for the movie business and one movie in particular that really shaped my life. So I grew up in New York, always loved movies like many of us, but I didn't realize it was actually a career you could pursue. Like sure, the artisanship and actually physical production, but I didn't know anyone in the movie business. I had no actors, no producers. Doctors, lawyers, people like that, that's, that was my world. And so I was set on being an entrepreneur and maybe working on Wall Street. In fact, I was studying international management in the Netherlands, and my mom called me to say, there's a film that you have to see. And that film was The Player. And this is a movie about movies. And it's by Robert Altman. It's very documentarian kind of style. And it follows a character named Griffin Mill, played by Tim Robbins. And he is a high-level studio executive. And from the opening frame, it blew my mind. So this is a guy working at a studio, wearing a suit, taking pitch meetings from writers about their movie stories. And he's deciding which movies to buy, to make, and how to put them together while he's working his way up the corporate ladder in Hollywood. So this was my first exposure to, oh my god, this is a whole industry. And I was immediately in love with it. And the thing that was so fascinating about it is, by the end of the movie, he's actually being pitched the movie that we just watched. And he tells the writer, like, I like this story. What do you call it? He says, I call it the player. He's like, the player. I like that. What do you call this thing, anyway? The player. The player. I like that. Needless to say, I kept the movie ticket, because I knew this was a seminal moment. Fate had played its hand. I was like, I'm going to the movie business. So I dropped everything. I got a subscription to Variety. I started a network out of my dorm room. And uh, I graduated on a Sunday. And I moved to Hollywood and started my job as an unpaid intern dressed like Griffin Mill in The Player. So I graduated Sunday, started on Monday, and never looked back. And uh, the head of the company used to say, you know, get your suited ass in here. But it ended up serving me well because I had a career, and still do, in the entertainment industry. And I've been involved in movies like Rounders and 10 Things I Hate About You, Legally Blonde, The Ugly Truth, Whip It, She's the Man, Repo Men, and many more. At the end of a couple of decades working in Hollywood, I wanted something more. I wanted spiritual adventure. I wanted new opportunities. And so I was starting to you know, go through my things, pack them up, what have you. And I came across the wallet that I had put the ticket in for the player. And I had long ago abandoned it. And I rediscovered it. And I thought, this was a good luck charm. Who knows what the fates may have in store? So I put it back in my wallet. And no sooner had I done that than a week later, I'm strolling in Venice, California. And who should roll up? <laughs> But Tim Robbins in The Player. So my whole career, I'd never seen him. I'd never been in a meeting with him. Our paths had never crossed. And here, I had made the determination, OK, I've done the Hollywood thing. I'm ready to move forward. And who should I see but The Player? So I walk up to Tim. I hold out my ticket. I'm like, i got to show you something. He, of course, flinches. Who's this guy putting something in my face? And then it, he leaned in, and his eyes focused. And he saw it was a ticket, the original ticket for the movie he starred in, The Player. He's like, why do you have that? And I said, well, sure enough, I saw your film. It changed my life. And you're the reason I'm standing here. I've had a whole career in Hollywood. And you were the reason for it. And he's like, let me sign that for you. So here it is. All the best. Tim Robbins. 
so I'm standing there, and what occurs to me is what an incredibly magical moment. And in fact, this moment is, it's like everything's come full circle. He's being pitched in the movie, the story of the player, and here I'm standing as a Hollywood player in front of the actor who played the player, signing my ticket for that film. And then I thought, well, this isn't really closure. It's not full circle things coming to an end, because here I am standing in front of you telling you this story. It's really a new beginning. It's more than just a circle. It's more than two circles. It's actually the shape of the universe. It's infinite. But beyond this, sometimes we can feel like we're, we're stuck in an infinite loop, like challenges come around, opportunities come around, things come around again and again. And sometimes we can feel trapped. But it's actually a very empowering shape, truly, this infinite shape. And it, it's not even the shape of infinity, because as these things come around, they're not a noose to hang ourselves with. They're actually upward spirals. So if we have this awareness of fate in our lives and that any moment within them can be a complete turning point, then as these things come around again and again, it's not just a circle closing. It's not just an infinite loop. It's actually spirals that are moving upwards. So we're graduating. We're evolving in our lives as long as we understand the importance of our, our role in it, which is not just earthly spirals, but heavenly ones. And the key is not to fake it until you make it, but to understand the role of fate in all of our lives and it's to fade it until you make it. Just like I did with the player. Wow. Thank you.